Hello, and welcome to the EIT Instrument Markets PowerPuck 2 instructional video. Start by turning on the PowerPuck by pressing the upper right power button one time. This turns the unit on and displays the last data that was collected on the unit. To collect new data, press the power button again. First, you'll see a display of the internal temperature and then the running indicator. Position the running power puck so that the round UV sensor window faces the UV light source the same way that your part or substrate does. When making multiple measurements, it's important to try to do this in a consistent way. The unit will continue to collect data as long as the power puck is in the run mode. When you finish collecting data, stop the logger by depressing the power button again your new data will be displayed. A number of features on the PowerPuck 2 can be accessed from the Setup menu. Turn on the unit and enter Setup by holding down the upper left hand button for two to three seconds. When you release the button, the unit will display the Setup menu. It's helpful to note that the function of each of the four buttons is indicated on the bottom line of the display. With mode selected, as indicated by the asterisk, you can toggle through the bottom right-hand button until graph is selected. Save this choice by pressing the upper left button and then exit. The unit's now in graph mode. In graph mode, pressing the upper left button will display the graph, the peak irradiance, and the energy density for each band. Another feature that can be changed from the setup menu are the units that the PowerPuck 2 will display. To change units from the setup menu, toggle the lower left hand button until units is highlighted with an asterisk. Toggle through the choices by pressing the lower right hand button until the units you want are displayed. Then save this choice by pressing the upper left hand button and exit by pressing the upper right. One of the most useful benefits of your UV PowerPuck 2 is the ability to compare a measurement with one that's been previously stored. To store a UV measurement for use as a future reference, begin by entering the Setup menu. With mode highlighted by the asterisk, toggle until reference is displayed. Then save this option and exit. This places the PowerPuck 2 into reference mode, which compares new measurements with stored references and displays a percent difference. You can update the stored reference signal with a new measurement by pressing the Set button, which will replace this previously saved reference signal with a new measurement. All future measurements will now be compared with this reference until you decide to change it again. In reference mode, you can step through each UV band by toggling the upper left hand button. This allows you to compare measurements with the reference in each band across the spectrum. We hope this brief introduction has been helpful. More information about the PowerPuck 2, other EIT UV measurement products, and various topics on UV measurement are available at our website www.eit.com.